All right, welcome back to the Road to SSL series. We're on to episode number 24 for today. In the last episode, we had a crazy psycho own goal as well as some crazy double taps for my teammates. But we're sitting at Grand Champion 3 Division 1. We're in that final rank before SSL. We got to go through Division 2, 3, and 4 before we get there. But before we get into the episode, we got to do the meme of the day. And we got Ernie's suggestion of Jin and Chronic. This one's amazing. Let's get into it. All right, this should be a pretty easy one. We've got Chronic here and we've got Ryan Reynolds with his aviation Jin. So perfect image here, I think. All right, there we go. We got his head. This'll, this'll work. Surely, surely. It looks so wrong. It looks so wrong. If I move his... Oh, it's not going to work. I need his head to be bigger. It's so bad, but it's so good. It's going to change the levels of him as well. <laughs> All right, there it is. Let's get into the games. All right, game number one, we got Jacobs and Crisp and uh, that guy. I'm not going to say his name because it might come up as something that's, I'm, that, you know, it's not good. I'm going to stay with this here. I think I'm going to have to stay off the boost. Okay, we actually made it so that the opponent took both uh, boosts from his other teammate. So that should be good for us. Please and pop. It's gonna be very low here, so I'm just gonna go for it. Good touch from Chris. See if Jacobs can pass the middle, maybe? Holy. Okay, I'll try to stay with this. Pass this back middle. They bump each other. Try to pass this back if I can. This could be good enough. Didn't get the boost, though. Let's see what happens here. Good bump from one. The team is pretty low boost. Back boost should hopefully spawn. They can throw the ball away. So Chris is staying with the ball instead, which is totally fine. What do they do with this? I'm going to force him out. Hopefully my teammate can follow it. Still going to keep going. And it's a goal. Nice. Yeah, so that's all I needed to do there was just zone that guy out. I like that my teammate pushed up for this touch because once Chris lets go of the ball like that, he can push up and make a challenge. And then I just zoned out the other player. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Goes around the back corner here. He's taking it to the back corner, but my teammate has the the uh, the corner boost control. I'm trying. I tried to pop that. But I ended up missing. Should go up though. Oh, they still finish it. So, yeah, not the greatest for me. I definitely could have probably popped that towards the net. I just a little bit scary because I didn't get the uh, the angle I wanted. That would have been perfect though. If it rolled up, it wouldn't have been scorable. All right, so one to one, not a big deal. Cheat up here a little bit. Good challenge. And pop this off the backboards. It'd be really awkward for them. And go for a low shot. Both missed. Teammates up. Great finish. Let's see if my teammate can get behind me. I'm not sure if they're gonna turn or not. Early flick from them is gonna be good for us because we can pop it immediately. Let them go for this ball. The back corner. Take the boost. Teammate, teammate, teammate wants a shot. Good save from them, but once again, they're still in a dangerous spot. And Chris follows us up, no problem. I'll go for this. I didn't really want to follow that up. Because um, I would have liked to go for a controlled touch instead. Teammate should be challenging this. That's all good. We can leave that. Yeah, it's both players. What I'm trying to do is find Chris on the way back here. Great shot angle. Great play. Yeah, that's, that's definitely like they way overcommitted. Popped it around the one player, and my team has a free shot. It wasn't the easiest shot, so really well played. Uh, slot that on the top crossbar there. To be 50 50. I'm going to see what my teammate does with this next 50 here. I'm going to wait for that guy to maybe challenge. Take this boost from him. There we go. One pop off the backboard. Shot back corner. Probably could have went forward corner there. It's gonna be could be open for them. Teammate should be able to get back to this, I think. Uh unfortunate. Yeah, definitely shouldn't have shot that back back right. I'm actually gonna take ownership for both goals here. I think I could have shot that uh far left. I was a little bit worried about the far left clear. Uh, if I went close because he's facing forward, so I tried to go behind him, but it's an overcommit. Okay, they both go, that's fine. I'll bump them off. Hit the boost as well. Teammate has free possession. Ended up throwing the ball back to them though, but it's no problem. Pop it around him with that little uh, Pre-flip. Pop this off the wall. Oh, I missed the ball. I was going to try and pop that off the back, uh, back wall there to um, set up a play, but I didn't want to challenge there either because uh, my teammate just spawned, so I was waiting there. Oh, it's going to be bad. Oh, this is really bad. Okay, we're actually like going to get a goal, though. <laughs> that was really badly played or poorly played for my teammate there. Um, to let that ball bounce off the back, ball, back wall. And I end up panicking because they definitely have a free shot there. My teammate's got all three goals, though. Take this back corner here. And my teammate, my, my teammate 
He's probably getting mid boost. Actually went for the back corner. It's smart of him. Take this mid boost from him. Clear down the field. Oh, so close to the redirect. It's going be alright though. See how fast my, my recovery is. Get a demo here. My teammate's got the back corner. Oh, he got bumped off the play actually. That's unfortunate. I'm going to wait here. See what happens. Once again, not a big deal if they go off the wall there. Good patience. I'm going to bump this guy to my teammate. Should still be my teammate. Okay, he had no boost maybe. Trying to stay in front. Good play. I had to uh, delay the shot. It should be open. I think he missed. It's all good though. Nice finish. It looked like it was going to roll up once again. So two balls that I thought was going to like bounce up, they didn't. But it happens. There we go. Ooh, I'm going to get the boost ta taken for me here. Teammates also pushed up, so I'm just going to back off. Good fake for my teammate. There we go. Early challenge. Teammates should be able to get the back corner boost now. Okay, they're bumping each other in mid. I'm just going to pop it forward. See if my teammate can finish it. Nice shot. Great finish. So, I mean, honestly, they just overcommitted and once again they bumped each other. That wasn't really like that big of a deal. I probably could have popped that a little bit faster for my teammate, but he made a great shot. He's playing really well. I feel like I can trust this guy. Definitely. I'll wait for the bounce off the sidewall here. I'm going to fake this. Because if I, if I go for it immediately, uh, they're just going to... Oh. They're just going to wait on the 50-50 in mid. See what Chris does here. So I'm just going to pop it backwards. I need to do anything crazy. What is going on? <laughs> okay. Let's got to go for it. And I got free ball again. Okay. All right, stay with us on the ceiling. Fake. Stay with it again. Fake it again. And top right bins. Okay, well, that's a, that's probably the first game here under wraps. Uh, my teammate played exceptionally well. I made a few mistakes at the beginning of the game, but we, we brought it back. All right. Great start to the match. Plural. Great start to the matches. We got him again. Let's go. Let's go. All right, this time uh, my t uh, the opponent has uh, CJ. Uh, I, was, I wasn't sure if my team was going to stay with that or not, so I'm just going to back off. Keep that really close. My teammate goes for it immediately. I, I was trying to keep that like close in control for them to dribble, but it's all good if they want to go for an immediate touch. CJ ends up popping down the field. I'm going to do is pop off the wall really fast. Ooh, I missed, but should be okay. My teammate does go up for it. It's going to be really bad for us. He ends up recovering it. This this guy's gonna go for the, the touch. It's totally fine. And uh, they end up on goaling. Okay, so not the greatest touches for me so far in this game, but we do uh, get good control off that off that bad touch from them as well uh, to go for that that shot. It was enough that they can't uh, save it. We go for a immediate chip, and it should be a goal again. Uh, that little chip that I can do there with zero boost is just like a quick. Uh, I think I got that one 12 boost pad, but you have to just get around the ball as fast as possible and chip. It doesn't matter where, what angle you go on there because uh, the other player is like over committing anyway. So it's going to be dangerous. I actually backed off the boost because of that. This could still be a goal too. Yeah, that was just a really, really confusing play because I, 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 I wanted to go for that back corner boost. But the second that I see the ball go like this past and he got bumped, I got scared and moved into mid. And then he ended up getting uh, outplayed in mid as well off the, the flip. But it's going to go around the one player. We should get a free goal here. So we brought it back. It's one of those situations where like something my teammate's doing is making me go off the boost, and you have, to, you have to be very aware of that. Like that your actions can make your your teammates' body language change based on or car language change based on what you're doing, and it might make them uncomfortable. I mean, it's not it's not like my teammate did anything crazy there. He just couldn't um, couldn't control the ball in that back corner or get a, a a touch to not bring it across the net like that. The reason why I pushed in mid was because if it, if it spills out to me like that, I can immediately chip it down the, the field as soon as possible. And I'm also scared of like their second player also being in mid, ready to shoot that at that off chance that they're over committing. So I'm gonna go for immediate challenge here. This could be uh, I don't I don't want to say this guy's name still. Nice. This is kind of the, the the mid chip I was talking about. It's gonna be hard for them to save and also control it. So you can see my teammate gets the free ball here. 
Go for a shot. And it's in. Bar down. Okay, I'm going to say great pass. That was a really good, really good choice for Jay to pop that middle. This guy and I are connecting today. I should go to the, the the right the right side. I'll get the left side here. I could go for that. That was a really good pass once again. I'll let this guy control try to control it. It's both players going. I actually don't mind that they both committed. Good touch. Might look for a pass here again. Oh, he went for the air dribble bump. The classic. It's fine. I'm still pretty low here. I don't really want to challenge. Oh. That's totally fine. I'll get the boost. Yeah, I can flip into that towards the boost. I do kind of overcommit though, so. I got scared that I was going to end up own goaling if I touched that ball. Tip it around them. Can't really go for that redirect. It's too close to the wall. Just going to get back for, with my teammate here. Not the greatest touch. He does control it pretty well though. I'm going to pop it up. They're going to save this. I'm just going to be ready for what they're going to do. Try to pop it once. They gotta follow this up if they want to save it. He doesn't quite get there. Go for a 50. They might challenge us again. Great play from them to try and follow that up. See what they do here. And a shot towards the net. Yeah, so that's that's definitely not something you want to do. Is where you, you want to try and control that. And unfortunately, like. He's not staying in front of it enough. He's trying to stay with the ball underneath, but at that bounce, I can uh, pounce on that. And people will go on that, especially at this rank. But yeah, Jacobs is a really, really solid player. I've been really enjoying playing with him. He's uh, in the right places at all the right times. And uh, we took turns carrying a game. We got a good division two here. Beautiful. Two more divisions to go. And then we've got SSL. We got the guy who has been losing the games here. Let's see if we can bring him a dub. I'll stay with this with my 30 boost. Just try to force it. Then try to pop this back. It's going to be uh, Gavin here. I'm just going to try to get in the way or something. Good. Get 50s as well. I'm immediately going to go for the back corner here because the ball's already spilling towards. I'm going to pop this guy. Maybe? Oh, close. We can get both boost controls here, though. leave the boost for my teammate. I think that the, that back quarter didn't spawn. I'm going to just pop this to the right side first. Then pop it towards the goal. It's going to be an awkward control for him. Good first touch. I like that. Okay, that was a little bit dangerous. Go back corner here first. I'll let him go for that. Fake the ball. Holy! <laughs> what is that? That was like a rocket launcher. Woof! Holy crap. That was a fast pinch to the backboard. I still go for a 50 here. Obviously, it's a kickoff. <laughs> I don't know why I always say that. My teammate's going to be very low boost. Uh, Jacob's let go of the ball here. I'm just going to put it around him. I'm, my momentum is completely stopped. All right, we got free ball here. Just gonna make him pinch it to the far side. Good first touch. I see I have some space here. All about the ceiling. Off the backboard. Good try. I like the pressure. Not the greatest touch for me. They could have definitely scored that if they were ready for it. Oh, good bump, but it's not me on. Good clear as well. I didn't expect my teammate to follow that. It's a pretty good play. Let him go for the touch. He says need boost. The back corner is there. You can go grab it. There we go. Good patience. So going to go towards target because that other guy jumped. They're going to save it, but he has to redirect it in some way. Trying to stay close here. My teammate should be able to take this. Well played. Gotta be careful of the bumps here as last man. It's not on target. I also need to make a touch there because it was a little bit uh, safer than I thought. Ends up missing. My teammates can go for this. Oh. Good challenge. 
don't expect that. It's a bit, a bit awkward. Is it missing the ball? Go for a backflip shot. It can be saved. The reason why I backflip shot there is so I can get out as soon as possible with low boost. And I'm already back. I'm going to fake this so they just make the touch. I don't think they can turn on this. I can't quite get it on target either because it's a little bit moving a little too fast. I'm just going to get behind my teammate here. See what they do. Now, I, I was going to try and leave that boost for my teammate, but it looked like he was maybe not going to be able to get to it. Good challenge. Be careful with this touch. Might be a goal. Yeah, that was really bad for me, but they end up missing. That was such a bad touch for me. I definitely should have uh, pounced on that one. Watch for the mid pass. There it is. Don't want to fully challenge here. My teammate's still back. I shouldn't turn like that in mid like that. I'm gonna wait. See what they do. It's back to them. Oh, actually, never mind. Might be a shot. There we go. All right, nice one. A few awkward moments in the back end there, but we uh, make it work. What up? Pop it around there. I mean, I'm kind of doing that already. I was already kind of discussing. I might make a touch here. He ends up throwing it away from uh, from himself, so my teammate can uh, collapse on that. Watch out for bumps here or something. I'm not sure what's happening. I like the early turn. A bit of an awkward ball here. I'm just going to pop it towards net. Uh, and actually, I think my teammate bumped him enough that it's going to be too hard to... Oh, good save. Oh. Should pop middle for him. And a great shot. Um, I'll say... I think I think that he definitely played pretty well. I mean, his, he didn't vibe with his teammates. It happens. You get situations where you don't uh, work with your teammate well. Like I said, your car language is going to affect, uh, you know, what the other the other car on the field is going to do. So um, it definitely you're going to affect the other player on your team. What you do, what you how you approach the ball is going to make people either panic or uh, position a different way. If you like, if you position yourself in a way that looks like you're gonna pass, they may position for the pass. Etc. Etc. That's how it works. Um, so definitely, if you if I always tell people, um, people always say watch your replays uh, and and see how you uh, you look to yourself afterwards, like what mistakes you're making. Honestly, go in your teammates' perspectives, uh, either either in twos or threes, and see and and the opponents as well. Look at all perspectives, especially a mistake you made. Look how easy or hard it looks for your teammates or opponents to read, because that is what it's going to tell you what's going wrong with you. And it may even look uh, like things that you don't like seeing from your teammates. So uh, it might open your eyes a little bit. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, have a great day. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.